Now, as we head into a new season, our pets can be susceptible to some common complaints. To tell us more about these and how we can treat them is Dr Alan Yang from Pet Doctors. Morning, Alan. Yeah, morning, Mel. Lovely to have you in the studio. So what are some of the common problems as we head into spring? Yeah, um, the common problems that we see in the spring are uh, definitely a lot of itchy cats and dogs. Itchy skin, itchy feet, itchy ears, itchy bums. Yeah, so a lot of itchy skin cases. Yeah. And then uh, I guess we also see a lot of cat fight injuries. And then for us at uh, Pet Doctor St. Luke's, seeing the exotic pets, uh, we see a lot of actually birds getting their eggs stuck. So an egg binding condition. So, so the eggs get stuck in the bird? Yes, that's right. So they have trouble laying the bird. Kind of like, uh, yeah, I guess having trouble giving giving birth in, in other animals as well, but yeah, yeah in, in birds is obviously wow. the egg. Yeah. You do see some exotic things. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, the itching thing I can totally relate to, and the cat fighting thing, they were doing it, something was happening underneath my bedroom, underneath the house the yeah, other day. Sounds it sounds very scary. It's yeah. incredibly scary. My cat was mm. actually petrified of it. Um, but what, why is it important to monitor your dog's itchiness, for example? Um, yeah, dogs with an itch. Um, Basically, yeah, the longer an animal, a dog, itches, uh, the longer it uh, itches, the uh, more likely they are to get infections. And then the more sort of chronic skin issues uh, that develop, so the skin becomes very thickened and it becomes harder to reverse and very hard to control as well. And then it must be very, very uncomfortable to have a constant itch. Yeah. It must be awful. Um, mm. What are some of the signs of an itchy dog? I mean, apart from obviously <laughs> scratching. The itching, yeah. Uh, so yeah, they don't always just scratch with their paws or claws. Um, they could shake their head, uh, they could lick their feet, they could bite their tails, uh, or they could scoot their bottoms. Uh, so that might uh, keep owners up at night if the dog is sleeping in the bedroom. Yeah. Yeah. And um, uh, yeah, so if you're looking at their fur, often with the, especially the paws, they'll lick their paws to the point where the fur is stained brown or black. Yeah, and then they might give off an odd smell. Yeah, so those are very common. And if you yeah, part the fur and look at the skin, you might see some uh, acute signs, so redness, swelling, and mm -hmm. uh, discharge and red spots, and also some yeah, chronic skin changes, so the thickening, uh, uh, dark, darkening of the mm. skin, flakiness, greasiness, uh, and hair loss as well. So all those, things which all. don't sound particularly comfortable. No, not so at all. So what, what are some of the causes? Um, the causes of um, skin itchiness, um, yeah, it could be a skin infection, but it could also be uh, most commonly skin allergies. And skin allergies, uh, we sort of put them into three categories. Uh, one of them is to actually flea bites to the flea saliva. So that's uh, very important to distinguish that from a flea infestation. Um, so yeah, so again, that's category one, flea bite allergy. Uh, secondly, they could be allergic to food. Yeah, so different diets and things that trigger them. And then thirdly, environmental factors. That's why it's seasonal. That's mm. why they come on in the spring and sometimes the summertime as well. Um, so uh, the environmental allergens can be things like uh, grasses or pollens or dust mites. Yeah, definitely yeah. the grass. Mm. So how can an owner manage their dog's itchiness? Yeah, um, so it's a pretty tough thing to manage. Uh, it's not something that we uh, consider we can uh, cure, be cured, mm. that can be cured, sorry. Um, so it's all about management. I, I do think the uh, first and foremost thing is to take your animal to the vets uh, because, yeah, as I mentioned, it's important to get mm. it sorted early. So you can expect the vet to uh, do a thorough history, do a thorough examination, uh, test the skin to see the presence or the type of uh, infection because infections are common secondary to skin allergy. Mm -hmm. Um, and if it is a skin allergy, then you might even have to go to the skin vets or uh, skin specialist vets uh, or vet dermatologists, if you will, yeah, for some allergen testing. And then uh, in terms of management, uh, there's, uh, we consider it a multi uh, modal approach or you, we use different ways to manage the problem. Uh, so combination of food, parasite control, uh, topical medication, including right. shampoos. Uh, and then uh, systemic medication that they take orally. And uh, a traditional medication that is used are uh, steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Uh, they are very effective, mm -hmm. but they do have lots of side effects. Right, suppressing so the immune system. Yeah, and um, suppressing the immune system. 
uh, but also the allergic reaction. Uh, but yeah, there's a newer drug out there now called Epiquil. Mm -hmm. uh, and Epiquil is a really fast and uh, very effective drug, fast acting effective drug. Um, and uh, it has uh, little side effects compared to that of steroids. So you can ask your vets about the use of Epiquil uh, on Excellent. top of other uh, products. Great, thank you for that. And so if any doubts, go and see your vet. Thank you so much, yeah, Alan. Yeah, no problem. Uh, great advice. And if you have any concerns about your pets, head along to see the team at Pet Doctors. And Pet Corner is brought to you by Yukonuba, who are giving away to our cafe viewers a $20 voucher off your next purchase of Yukonuba dry food. To download the voucher, go to yukonuba.co.nz slash the cafe.